Konnichiwa YouTubers, this is Rest Talk Straight from Japan and today we're going to do a video review of Transformers United Autobot Tracks UN13 and as you can see I have revealed the shield tracks, turbo tracks at that and I just want to juxtapose, uh, compare side by side what are the differences between the two? I have them in their alt modes of course here it is reveal the shield tracks, he rolls rather well and he has these little missiles underneath but I also wanted to show the little flight mode which don't bother with this mode it's awful as you can see if you let it on the side he's elevated so he's supposed to be flying I understand that completely but I can't seem to peg it correctly when he's in this mode but I just wanted to showcase this as far as the differences as you can see United Tracks right here has a cool flame decal like back in the day nice little 80s decal that I love in the back the flame <laughs> Uh, it's opposed to this horrible painted tattoos and man the paint apps aren't that great but this one is pretty nice and as you can see it's a nice shiny metallic blue color vice this well it's a blue and also has the reveal the shield on the top but instead the United version has the Autobot symbol and also has a nice Autobot symbol in the front so it's much more G1 accurate has nice pretty blue metallic blue finish vice a little drab blue and it just looks sharper all around but like I said, don't keep them in this mode right here. If you want to, uh, it's easier to transform this mode, so I just that's why I said this or left it like this. But if you want to compare packages, I most certainly will. Y'all seen the reveal, the shield? There we go. Oh, let me get it from the back here. There we go. Those are the packages from the front. Now I'll go show you the back. So. Not too bad. Let me actually go ahead and zoom back or pull this back so you can see a little better. There we go. I all, I love the photorealistic shot that they have in the Transformers United. And if you can read the stats over here, you notice that at least in the United Universe, Turbo Tracks has slightly better stats than back in the Reveal of the Shield universe. So just to let you know those are the only differences and of course this is part of wave two of the United reveal or not reveal this year yeah Transformers United with Voyager Grapple Jazz and Lugnut so they're only four vehicles that were released so let's put those to the side so you can tell the differences and I mean if you're totally interested in putting this guy into his flight mode which I definitely do not suggest all you have to do is just pop up the back over here pull out his arms I'll remove, remove the little missiles over here there's this little joint over here in the back that flips around anyway, sorry let me show you that this little joint right here in the back flips around there we go not bad and then you can go ahead pull the you know, pull this out just like that pull the doors out then you can get these little wings out Man, and this also irritates me to no avail. You have to pop in the the hands and there's little tabs in the back here and just pop them down. For some odd reason, the American version seems to tab a little bit better, but oh well. And just tab his little missiles in the back. There you go. You have the awful flight mode. But, yeah, I'm not even going to tab those missiles. If you cho so choose to do that. But he looks so much sharper in his Corvette mode. Well, Corvette Stingray. That's what the G1, I don't know, this is Corvette-like. So I'm going to give him a nice, very nice 9 out of 10. Because of his beautiful coloring. It actually does roll pretty well. And of course it has a little undercarriage junk, but not so bad. Alright, let's go ahead and transform it since he's easier to transform from this mode. First of all, we're going to remove his little rocket launchers. All we're going to do here... Just go ahead, push, pull the legs out, and they should split. And I'm going to lower the back over here, lower his arms, pull this, pull his wings back, just like that. Arms are kind of a pain, so I'm going to move the wheels. There we go. Wheels are going to move all the way to the front. Just yeah, perfect. Whoops. And they're on ball joints, so that's cool. 
There we go. And same thing with the other wheel. There we go. Wait till it clicks. Alright. I love the automorph over here. Look at his big red head too. Bam. He also, in alternator fashion, stores his weapon in the back. So all I have to do is just pop it off. Beautiful. Alright. Get this over here. This little back piece over here clicks. So you click it down. There we go. And he connects sort of like that. Now, oh, excuse me. Now you can connect his little missile launchers to the back over here. I'm gonna make sure so he's able to rotate. Okay. His missile launchers, rocket launchers, whatever they were back in the G1 era, just clip nicely over here and you can set them up to fire. Same thing with the other rocket launcher. Yeah, here we go. And let me go ahead and transform his legs. Basically, in the back over here, they got little hill spurs. Just pull it apart. Yeah, lovely. I don't know why they love to pop off, pop off on me. All right. So just lower the heel spur on the bottom here. And geez, man. Of course they love to do that when I was transforming them before he never did that all right his weapon just flips out very alternator-esque and he has good gripping for his hand so yeah it fits in his hand rather nicely now it's really up to you if you want to leave them in this mode right here go ahead and start zooming in so you can see a little better there we go All right, not bad, not bad. Now that's your your choice if you want to leave them like this. I prefer it that way because it's much more G1 accurate in that respect. But the instructions do say that you can go ahead and just flip it around. And I personally don't like it that way. Not nearly as cool looking. And just to show you, for the transformation, the Reveal the Shield has these yellow stripes on his cod piece. Whereas, the United version does not. Oh well, what can you do? Alright, for articulation, very good articulation. It is, if anything else, hindered by the wings. Moves up and down, side to side, bicep swivel on the top here. Good. Double jointed elbow, even though it's weirdly shaped. It's weird. And wrist swivel, real good articulation. Head is not in a ball joint, but it does swivel. Alright, you do have waist articulation, however, it is hindered by this little piece over here. And knee swivel, knee joint, a little ankle swivel, and the ankle is on a ball joint. So it moves up and down and goes side to side. So, let's go ahead and set them up. You can put them in pretty dynamic poses, as you can see right there. Not a bad figure overall, very G1 accurate. I'd much rather have them in the other pose right here. So I'm just gonna show you because it looks prettier, I think, I don't know, it's really up to you. That's much more G1 accurate. And because of his big feet, it also showcases his hood a lot better. And we go. All right, I'm gonna give this mode an eight out of 10. If you see if he can stand up, sometimes you have to leave him in, not bad. Good 8 out of 10 for this mode, and I'll catch you all next time.